Hi, Sunny Siders. I'm back with another story for you. And I'm going to try doing something a little bit differently this time. I'm going to do a screencast with a Kindle read aloud book. Um, now, <clears throat> those of you that know me know that I love to do e read alouds and project the pictures so that everyone can see them. And parents, if you have a Kindle, you can download children's books and they've got pictures and everything and you can read them to your kids and it's a great resource if you already have a Kindle. And I use it in the library and I'm going to use it for you today at home. All right, this is called My Pet Wants a Pet. Some of you already heard this story. I was right in the middle of reading this to every class and then we had to come home. So here it is for you if you didn't hear it. All right, My Pet Wants a Pet on a Kindle Cloud Reader. Okay, by Elise Broach, illustrated by Eric Barclay. Once there was a boy who wanted something to take care of, something of his very own. So here he is, he's in the window, he's looking out. What does he want? I wonder if you can guess, what is he wishing for? He begged, and he begged, and he begged his mother. Until, what do you know? She said yes! She got him a pet! The boy loved his puppy. He fed him and played with him and cuddled him in his arms. The boy loved his puppy. And the puppy loved his boy. He licked him and jumped on him and fell asleep in his lap. They had the best time together, the boy and his pet. Such a good time, in fact, that the puppy decided that he too wanted a pet. The boy's mother thought this was a terrible idea. The puppy is your pet, she said. He does not need a pet. But the boy understood the puppy wanted something to take care of, something of his very own. So the puppy got a kitten, a tiny furry orange kitten. Okay, Sunny Siders, if you don't have a pet, you, you probably have a stuffy. So you might want something cuddly to take care of something of your very own. And if you don't have a pet, a stuffy will do. So right now I have a stuffy. I have a penguin. And so the puppy got a kitten, a furry orange kitten. Truth be told, I'm going to do a little adjustment so that you can see my penguin. Truth be told, the boy was surprised at this choice. Dogs chase cats, he told the puppy. And the puppy did chase the cat, but only as a game. And afterward, he let her eat from his bowl and play with his ball, and they dozed in the sun side by side. In fact, they got along so well and had so much fun together that it wasn't long before the kitten herself wanted a pet. When the boy told his mother this, she looked at him like he was crazy. That kitten is the pet of your pet. She certainly does not need a pet. But the boy and the puppy understood that the kitten wanted something to take care of, something of her very own. And so the kitten came home one day with a bird, a pretty red bird. This isn't a bird. This is another stuffy, though. All right, Sunny Siders, right now I want you to stop what you're doing. And go get a stuffy right now if you don't already have one. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to pause for a minute. Go get a stuffy. Actually, you can pause the video. Now, once again, this seemed like an odd choice. Oh, here we go. This is good. This is another good one. Oh, it's a bird. No, it's a butterfly. It's perfect. Now, once again, this seemed like an odd choice. Catch, cats catch birds, the boy told the kitten. And the kitten did sometimes pounce on the bird, but really it was all in good fun. The kitten made sure that the bird had water and places to fly and perch. And they got along so well and did so many marvelous things together that soon enough, what do you think? 
Yeah, it's definitely going to happen. It's happening. The bird wanted a pet. Now this is getting ridiculous, said the boy's mother. That bird is the pet of the pet of your pet. She does not need a pet. But the boy knew that she did. She really did. So the bird brought home a little worm. Hold on a second. I need to go back because I missed this picture. Look at this picture. Look at this. The cat and the bird. And the bird sees a worm. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting like, like completely covered with stuffies here. Pets and friends. The kitten made sure. Okay, look at that. But the boy knew that she did. The bird did need a pet. She really did. So the bird, okay, that's probably enough pets for now. So the bird brought home a worm, a little green worm. The boy started to explain that birds eat worms. But then he decided to leave well enough alone. And the bird took such good care of the worm and was so gentle. But this is kind of a fun one. And was so gentle when she carried him and so quick to protect him that before long, guess what? Can you guess what? What's going to happen? Who wants a pet now? The worm wanted a pet. What? Ah, stuffies are flying from above. What? cried the boy's mother. That worm is the pet of the pet of the pet of your pet. He does not need a pet. But the boy knew. Uh oh, that turned the page. I'm having, I'm getting like completely overwhelmed with pets here. But the boy knew that even a worm might need something to take care of, something of his very own. And so the worm found a flea. It was a tiny brown flea and it hopped all over the house. Why? The worm had trouble keeping up with it. But he followed the flea and looked after it. And soon they were the best of friends. Such good friends, in fact. Oh, my God. That. In no time at all. Can you imagine what happened? Next. That's right. The flea wanted a pet. Absolutely not, said the boy's mother. That flea is the pet of 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 your pet. No more pets. But that didn't stop the flea, because of course he wanted something to take care of, something of his very own. See, you get that. I get it, flea. We all get it. So the flea decided the puppy would be his pet. Oh my gosh. Oh, life was wonderful. The boy and the puppy and the kitten and the bird and Miss Graham. Miss Graham actually does have a real pet. Here's my pet. This is, this is my cat. And let me tell you, she's the best. She's going to, hopefully she'll stay to finish the story unless she starts to scratch me and then she won't. Oh, life was wonderful. The boy and the puppy and the kitten and the bird and the worm and the flea were as happy as can be because they all had pets. But there was someone, a special and important someone who wasn't happy. Uh oh, look at mom. Mom. Moms out there, dads, caretakers, tell me, are you feeling this mom right here? I'm feeling it. She's like, oh my God, a special and important someone who wasn't happy. She wasn't happy at all. Now, the boy and the puppy and the kitten and the bird and the worm and the flea were a little bit worried. None of them wanted, oh, none of them wanted to give up their pets what were they going to do? The boy thought about this for a long time, and then he had an idea. His mother needed something to take care of, something of her very own. Because, and what, what's her, what is she going to take care of? Oh, it's not, it's not a pet. It's her kid. Because whenever you take care of something, that something takes care of you. All right, Sunny Siders, this was really fun. Please keep tuning in because I'm going to try to send you a story every day. This is James. He was my helper. Just a quick shout out. Um, I am, and, and he shared all his stuffies. And, and I'm at home and I'm working and I'm, I'm playing with my kids and we're reading stories and I'm working and we're all kind of just getting through this together and it's crazy. 
Um, so if it's crazy at your house, that's okay. Um, just be well and take care.